Hi, my name is Andrew. And I'm Willie. And this, this is Anonization 101. Anonization is an interesting process used in a variety of ways. For example, the aluminum case of this iPod is anodized. Aluminum normally does not accept the dye very easily, but anodizing the aluminum creates small holes that then can be filled with dye. When you anodize certain metals, however, a sparkling rainbow of colors can be created without any dyes at all. How is this possible? Anodizing titanium creates a thin layer of titanium dioxide, a transparent material that reflects and refracts the incoming light. The refracted light also reflects off of the titanium underneath. In turn, the reflections interact through constructive and deconstructive interference to produce a variety of colors. Anodization can involve high voltages and flammable hydrogen gas, and safety is key. To better understand this process, we travel to Scapoos, Oregon, home of the world's largest candle, to enlist the help of a trained professional electrician. Dan Brown. Dan Brown. After obtaining our DC power source, we proceeded to cut some titanium pieces for our experiment. The anode is attached to the piece of titanium to be anodized. DC power is applied to the cathode. The electrons flow through the electric light, splitting the water molecules. The hydrogen escapes as gas, and the excited oxygen bonds to the titanium, creating titanium dioxide. the titanium dioxide layer grows, the distance that the refracted light travels increases, creating an apparent surface color via constructive and deconstructive interference. Now remember, anodization is fun, but it can also be dangerous. High voltage and explosive gases can be hazardous to your health. So take care and have fun.